But today I wanna to show you some amazing print on demand prompts that you could use for actual products to print, like t-shirts, stickers, and even coloring books. Then I'm gonna show you a ChatGPT prompt generator to create specific print on demand prompts for any app of your choosing. Now again, there's one important thing I want you guys to keep in mind. You can use these prompts cross-platform. However, you might notice that some of these prompts work better in one app than the other. Now, when it comes to Leonardo AI, to Leonardo AI, you do want to consider and remember that there are various amounts of fine-tuned models and presets, especially if you use Alchemy. AI is taking things to a whole new level. level. You want to test these prompts out and try them with all of the different fine-tuned models and presets, because I found that what might not look good in one fine-tuned model looks good and great in another. And also, mix in some of your own keywords, replace whatever I have with your own, and that way you'll get that exact prompt design you're looking and for. And then for a lot more prompt ideas and prompt idea help, there'll also be a link in my description that will take you to this page right here, and it's gonna have a ton of copy and paste ready prompts that you could use. Just open up these individual drop boxes and you can use them however you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Let's go over here to my Airtable database and we're gonna actually click on the first prompt. And now this one is actually gonna be the chat GPT print on demand prompt generator. So the very first one, it's a very simple prompt, but it didn't really work out quite well. And I'll show you why, especially if we wanna utilize this prompt for both Leonardo AI and Midjourney. So look, you are an expert prompt engineer. Write some prompts to generate designs for cool graphic t-shirts. Pretty cool, it gave us some cool ideas and cool designs we can actually use but here's the thing I'll show you after this one some tips that are very important to keep in mind and that you'll want to use whether you use Midjourney or Leonardo AI so looking at this prompt I went ahead and then crafted it to be even better and then so here it is now it says the same thing but then the very last sentence is very key this exact text right here is great for Midjourney I get eight pretty cool ones celestial wonders music in motion bookworm adventures pretty cool and so at the same time if I did end up liking any of these up here I could still use these but then again I can add at the very end these dimensions right here especially the one that says no t-shirt so you can use this in both 3.5 or GPT-4 it does work pretty well so again you can see that exact prompt right here but the first thing I want to do is now test out one of these prompts that chat GPT actually gave me in both Midjourney and Leonardo AI and now we're gonna head over to Midjourney I entered that one in right here check this out I did design a t-shirt graphic showcasing the mysterious beauty of space highlighting constellations galaxies and nebulas now look at this right here this is exactly Exactly what it gave me quite impressive and pretty good so what you're gonna to want to do and what's important to keep in mind is that you definitely want to make sure you can upscale this to a very high quality especially if you're actually going to be printing out any of these products so let me go ahead and show you what mid journey gave me as far as all four are concerned so when it comes to all four of them check this out right here I went ahead and chose the bottom left hand corner one but look at this right here pretty cool for t-shirt design so now what I'll do is I did go ahead and upscale this one right here and I'll take that same exact prompt and then head over to Leonardo AI and see what that made for us so over here in Leonardo AI again this is pretty good as well now this one was made with the absolute reality v 1.6 and then the alchemy preset dynamic one thing that's very important to keep in mind when it does specifically come to Leonardo AI you want to make sure that you can utilize the negative keyword feature and the reason why this is so important is because time and time again as I was utilizing this prompt it would still provide and give me prompts that look very good but it actually had a human being wearing the shirt or it showed the t-shirt itself I went ahead and used this in a negative prompt t-shirt shirt person people face human once you do that you'll get images that look just like this which are hopefully gonna be just the actual image itself I'll go ahead and upscale this one and now I want to show you one pretty cool trick to see how it will actually look on a t-shirt itself we're gonna head over to canva and then and actually use their smart mock-up tool to see how a specific design really would look on a t-shirt so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just upload the design you just made so I have the mid-journey one right here but if I want to see the Leonardo AI one as well all you have to do is just click it and drag it and then just drop it over here on the left hand column so on the left hand side you can see apps and then what you want to do is find the one that says mock-ups click on mock-ups it's gonna show you all different sorts of mock-ups you can use there's a specific one I really like to test out my designs with it's gonna be the very last one in the bottom right hand corner right here the reason why I like this one is because I can actually expand it and I can actually make this one become a full print design to where it's gonna take up most of the whole entire shirt and once that's there all you have to do is just go back to your uploads on the left hand side and then just simply click and drag the image 
over and on top of this shirt frame. And then there you have it. There is how my design will look right here. Now let's go ahead and then undo this and let's try the mid journey one by clicking and dragging over the same exact thing and see how this works out. Now, cool. This doesn't look very good at all because it's squared off at the top and I want it to take over the whole front side of the shirt. So how exactly do we do that? Simple. Click on the actual design right here like I just did. And then over here in the top left hand corner, you're going to see this edit button. Click edit. And now on the left hand side, you can see that it says image crop fit or fill right now it's set to fit just simply click on fill and now there you have it now it designs the whole entire mock-up shirt and the design is going to take up the whole front end of the shirt perfectly just like this okay now this is very important now let's head back over to the next one i'm going to give you and this is going to be a specific tip that's very important to keep in mind and you can see the creator of this actual tip is ray wong on twitter and you can find him at prompt underscore mastery so pretty cool tip right here and here's exactly what it says sometimes mid journey will produce images of designs on t-shirts. One way to avoid this is to include the quote, no t-shirt text at the end of your prompt. And that's why it's so important in Leonardo AI that you really take advantage of and leverage and use that negative prompt box. Because okay, so that's pretty important. The next thing is use phrases like design a t-shirt, t-shirt design, graphic t-shirt to indicate to Midjourney or Leonardo AI that you're looking for something that can go on an actual t-shirt. The great thing about Leonardo AI is that on the left-hand side of the column toolbox, you can actually choose your different different dimensions and sizes and even some of the different fine-tuned models are designed specifically for certain dimensions and so that's how you would utilize the dimensions in Leonardo AI. Okay, so the next one I want to show you guys is pretty cool. A neon donkey vector t-shirt design, pop culture mashup, hyper detailed illustration. This is pretty cool. Now check this out. So if I go back over into mid journey, look at this design. It made me right here. This is pretty cool as well. This would be perfect for a neon graphic design to print out. And then there you have it. Look at this right here. So I have my design. This mule looks very good right here. Let's go ahead and see what happens if I hit the edit button and then I select it to go to fill. And then there you go. It makes it a little bit bigger. Let me open this up and make this a little bit larger. Now check this out. So maybe this is a future mascot I could use for a t-shirt. So here's another very good useful tip that you might want to use, especially if you haven't had that much luck yet really getting what you're looking for. Utilize these simple keywords at the end of your prompt. Seamless, isolated, on um, pure white, black background. Again, seamless, isolated, on um, pure white or black background. So let's go ahead and just copy this little portion right here. And now let's paste in seamless, isolated, on um, pure. Let's go ahead and do white. And I'll just delete the rest where it says white or black, pure white and I'll enter background. This looks fantastic. Let me go ahead and open this up, make it larger, and then boom, there you have it. Pretty cool. So what I'm starting to find is that when it comes to t-shirts and print-on-demand products, it looks like that Midjourney does a little bit of a better job. So check out the latest one that Midjourney made for me over here. Design a t-shirt graphic that merges classic art pieces with modern day elements. This is pretty cool too. And so I can open this one up and then I can look at this and say, oh, this might be pretty cool for a t-shirt as well. And now take a look at a few more of these other designs I made in Midjourney as well. Woman with the sunglasses, very nice. And then again, if I come over here now, I like these over here, been making different variations of a futuristic style type map. And it's actually in the form of a compass itself. So this is pretty cool. Both of these have all of the continents intertwined within a compass itself. So that looks pretty cool. It's unique. Let me show you a few coloring book type prompts I used over here. So this one on the right hand side says children doodle art on white paper representing art for coloring book vector black and white. I'll click to expand it. And you can see over here, this one did a pretty good job too. This could be utilized as a page in a coloring book and you can actually change up or add some more subjects or keywords and get something more specific to your likings and I did just that over here and so with this one specifically I said the same thing but then I said for zoo animals and then that's exactly what we got so coloring book style page with a variety of different zoo animals that you can color in now there's one actual good tip I actually want to show you there is a community model specifically for t-shirt design examples and I'll show you exactly how to find that I have it pulled up right now. But what we're going to do is over here, open up your fine tune model column. At the very bottom, you want to select custom model. Now you want to select community models and you have all these other fine tune models that other community members have made. Now watch this, come over here into the search gallery and then just type in shirt. Now you have all of these community models that other people have made to create specifically just that shirt. 
shirts. You could see the examples of what other people have made utilizing this shirt right here. This looks fantastic. Now, go back to select custom models, go to community models, and now again, in the search bar, I'm actually going to type in coloring. Now, once I hit the search button, look at this. Now I actually get models that people have specifically made for a coloring book. This one looks very cool, intricate details right here, and then you can see at the very top who the actual creator is. And then you can actually download it, use the same exact prompt, but you can also just generate with this model, and it's called Adult Coloring Books V1. So I can come in here and then hit sticker. Now there are all these for stickers itself. So again, to sum it up, when you're using Midjourney, these prompts work pretty well, and you'll get a really direct and clean result. Leonardo AI takes a little bit more work, but then that's where all the customizations in Leonardo AI comes into play specifically with the dimensions and now the fine-tuned models, specifically the community fine-tuned models that you can use. So you can search the ways we did just now, coloring book, sticker, t-shirt, etc. So thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time.